Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I I don't even know what this video is, I don't know what to call it. I just literally wanted to sit down and do like a get ready with me sort of thing, even though I'm not going anywhere. And I just wanted to put makeup out in front of me and just like sort of have a play around and like this is what I came up with. I don't know how this happened. I plan to sit down and do like a natural holiday makeup that you could wear like minimal makeup on holiday and honestly like how did that happen? How did this happen? Just sitting down here today and I just wanted to play with some makeup and this is what, this is what happened. This is what happened, this is what was in my soul today with the red, the red, the red, the red. If you want to see how to get this look then please just stay tuned and don't forget to let me know if you like these sort of videos, the more chatty, just chilled out videos um, because I really enjoyed filming this today and I quite liked it and I think you might like it too. Thank you so so much for watching and if you want to see how to get this look just stay tuned. Please excuse my skin at the moment, I'm getting a few breakouts. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I really don't know what I want to do in my makeup today. I just really fancied filming a video, so I think I'm going to do something like orangey. I've got my Morphe 35O palette here, and I think that's what I'm going to use because I've not used this on camera in ages. And I think I want to use like these colours, but we shall see. I just want to do a bit of like a chilled out video and a more chatty video, and just like. Oh, for God's sake. Brushes are absolutely everywhere because, I don't know, does anyone else do this? Like, if you ever travel anywhere with your makeup, like, I just don't unpack it. Like, I will take the extra journey to go into another bag and get brushes rather than just putting them back where they should be. Does anyone else do that? I don't know why, I'm just so lazy it hurts sometimes. I'm gonna take my Morphe R35 fluffy brush. And I think I'm gonna go in with See the good thing about these kind of palettes is you can literally just use like 500 eyeshadows because you've got them. So I might mix together this colour here, this colour with these, mm, this colour with these two I think. So I'm going to mix together. I've not really had the time to film videos recently but I've been feeling like a bit, I've been feeling a bit like uninspired. And I don't really know why, I think it's because I really want to take my channel into like doing more like chatty videos like this sort of because these are the videos that I like to watch to be honest like if I'm ever wanting to watch a video like Get Ready With Me's are my favourite ones to watch and I don't particularly, I like watching them but I'm never like oh I'm so excited to watch a video that's just sort of like music and a tutorial or like do you know what I mean so I think I want to start doing more chatty videos on my channel. Please let me know what you think about that. My friend and I are going to Barcelona in August, so I think I might try and film that and do like, you can do like a sort of like travel diary video. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are if you would like to see that, because there's really no point in me doing it if you don't want to see that. <laughs> um, I'm going to go back in with that orangey colour and just deepen that up a bit. I'd love to like chat with you guys a bit more, because I love seeing that people are watching my videos, but Part of the fun is like getting to interact with you. So I love when people leave comments, they can let me know what you think, even if it's like constructive criticism. Just let me know, because this is like the first sort of um, like get ready with me I'm gonna do. So if there's something that you want me to do more of, if you want me to change, if you want me to talk less, <laughs> then just let me know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mix these two and then put a bit of this one in as well. What are you guys thinking about the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Um, my friend who is in America at the moment, she has ordered us one so we're waiting on this coming over and I'm so so excited so please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a tutorial with that because I'm honestly so excited to get it. Jaclyn Hill I think is my favourite YouTuber ever, she's such like an inspiration to me and I'm sure to lots of other people. But yeah, she is probably like my favourite YouTuber, she's the one that like, if she ever uploads I'm so excited to watch it and yeah, I just love her. I've, li I've literally bought I think everything that she's came out with. <laughs> I think I want to do a video that's got like a few different looks in it. It will be a bit more of like a, like an edited video with music over the top but I wanted to do that and sort of show you a few different looks in one video. So let me know what you think about that. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing with this look, I'm just like playing about with these colours. Do you guys ever do that? Like, it's quite fun to just sit down and play with makeup sometimes. <sighs> so 
so I'm going to take a smaller brush, 217, and like that fudgy brownie, uh, fudgy brownie colour there. I'm going to mix it with a bit of this. Yeah, please leave me any sort of like requests that you have for any videos because... Like I said, I'm feeling a wee bitty uninspired at the moment. But I think if I start to do videos like this, I'll be a bit more excited to film because, like I said, I do. this is what I enjoy doing more. It's like sort of just chilling and talking to the camera. Even if you want me to do any, like, it doesn't have to be makeup related. Literally anything I'll do. Well, to a certain extent. So I think for an eyelid colour, I'm going to put on a little shimmer. Um, I think I'm going to mix these two. Do like a really coppery colour. Feeling oranges today, guys. Feeling the oranges. I think I'm going to do a colour that's going to stand out a bit more. So I've got my Violet Boss Laura Lee palette here. And I think I want to go in with that flaky colour. It's just like a really bright yellow gold. I've never really done a look like a colour like that on my eyes before so I think that is what I'm going to go over because that is what that looks like just now and I think it looks really cool but it just sort of blends yeah I much prefer that, it looks so cool there, yeah, I think that's how I'm going to leave it I feel like something at RuPaul's Drag Race <laughs> I think I may add some glitter because shock, when do I not add glitter? and I'm going to go right above I don't know if do you just go in a wee bit more? I'm going to go like right on top of this cut crease. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? Oh, I don't know if I like that. So this is like the thing about playing with makeup because I really didn't know what I was going to do today. And I was like sort of set on just doing like an easy summer makeup and here we are. So I've just put on like some black eyeliner just to line my lash line and put on some Iconics. I don't know how I'm feeling about this lid colour because when I've curled my eyelashes it's literally started like flaking all over my face. Whilst my lashes are drying I'm going to use my Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay. I've still been loving this. I'm going to take about that much. You really don't need a lot of this because it's really really thick. Um, so I'm just like working that in between my hands and then put it mainly just in like the areas that I've got more pores. Now this isn't like a wearable look but sometimes it's just like fun to play with makeup. So I'm going to use my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. This is probably going to be a bit dark because I have no fake tan on at the minute. I've been trying to wear like less makeup recently. This is like the most makeup I've worn in ages. I don't even know why but... And what's like your favourite makeup brands and like products please let me know like what your favorite foundation and stuff is because i really want to get a new foundation but i don't know what to try i really want to try the um the nyx like you know the new one that's in like a dropper bottle i really want to try that but let me know if you've tried it and what it's like because i don't want to spend it's quite expensive for like a drugstore foundation like 14 pound i know it's not expensive in terms of like whole lot of makeup spectrum here's hula 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 yeah, normally it's fine paying that for like a high-end brand because you normally know that like you're gonna get what your money's worth but with drugstores sometimes you don't know like you can never tell it's gonna be good or not so please let me know your thoughts on that i got this new brush this is the morphe r7 and i've been loving it for bronzer it's quite similar to like that um well i don't know what number it is but it's like that mac brush that was like hyped up a wee while ago. This is quite similar but it's a little bit bigger but I think it's quite nice for like an all over bronze. I'm going to use that stay matte again just to go under that con that bronzer because I'm not really trying to contour but I don't want it to be too messy. That's not an eye in. I don't even know why I put these in. Like who wears earrings when they're doing their makeup? And this is also the first time I've worn earrings in this year since I had my infection so pray for me please and for like everyone's favorite part the highlighter um, it's really annoying me that I keep looking there I'm really sorry <laughs> it's pissing me off too oh, oh no I've shattered my champagne bowl so yeah I've been loving this again I've not used it in a wee while but I used it the other day and I was like why like why do I not use it anymore sorry gonna be my Morphe M510 as always like see what I mean that's just like ooh, ooh. 
I love highlighter. I literally don't even know, like, what did I used to do when I never used to wear highlighter? Because it wasn't, like, a thing when I was younger. So, like, why, what did my face just used to look like shit, like, all the time? The answer to that is yes. We all remember those dream at Miss Days. I've been loving this, like, forehead highlight just now as well. I just feel like once you've got highlight on, you just look so much better. You look healthier. Radiant. So I'm gonna spray my face with this lay all day. I really don't like the smell of that. Like you know, I s whoa. I think I've said it in a video before, but I really don't like this. But like, like I'm almost finished. I've been like trying to get used to it because like I paid for it. So obviously I want to use it up, but it's just I hate it. I don't like it anymore. Once you've lined your lips, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Morocco matches my nails. It's really like a, such a nice orangey corally red, like summery colour. So yeah, once you've got your lip on, you don't obviously have to do a red, you can do a nude or whatever, but this looks like so bright on camera. I did not expect my makeup to turn out like this. I literally just sat down to do like a chill holiday makeup and like here we are. 575 hours later. <laughs> yeah, please give the video a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. It leaves more like chatty get ready with me because I really enjoyed filming this actually. I feel a bit like, I feel a bit happier about this video than I have about my other ones recently. So, except for the fact that I keep looking here, honestly, can you get any more up yourself? Stop looking at yourself. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. Uh, if you just click the little face, like circle thing around about here then that will be you subscribed and I've got other videos over here if you want to check them out before you leave and yeah that's it I'd love to see you back here again next time and until then thank you so so much for watching